Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a video on a uh, new 3 amp test load, um, selectable test load, but you can select different ranges, uh, 405 nanometer, 445 nanometer, you know, 650 nanometer, uh, basically all your common wavelengths that we deal with. Um, it's hooked up to my uh, X drive uh, set to uh, around a 1.96, 1.97 amps. Uh, I couldn't bring my power supply over here, so I'm just going to use a two 18650s because uh, there's better lighting in this room. All right, so let's turn it on. Uh, first thing, uh, the the test load uh, one ohm resistor is uh, rated for 25 watts so you should not have problems of it overheating uh, compared to my old test load which was a 3 amp test load with the 5 watt uh, resistor uh, even with the 5 watt resistor at uh, 1.8 amps uh, the the driver w I mean the test load would, would still overheat uh, way too much uh, this is a uh, perfectly uh, heat synced uh, well perfectly on the board to where it's dissipating the heat um, it's uh, recommended that you only run uh, this test load at 2 amps continuous with no heat sink anything over 2 amps uh, it's required that you use uh, uh, some type of heat sink um, I have to uh, double check to see exactly where the best place would be to uh, place the heat sink uh, but my guess would be across uh, the diodes and the, the resistor just a nice strip across the top um, or there might be a better way of doing it uh, but as of right now um, we don't really need uh, over two amps right now uh, the max we usually run the 445 nanometer diodes are uh, around uh, 1.8 amps so I th think this is just uh, just perfect uh, for size comparison uh, I have a quarter um, I'll put down the exact dimensions of the, the test load but it's about uh, it's about three quarters long about a quarter quarter thick um, let's see Put these alligator clips on the uh, on the test load to make it easier to connect to my uh, driver. Um, some people like to solder and keep on desoldering uh, their driver directly to the test load, but I hate doing that because uh, your test load or whatever you keep soldering and desoldering to ends up uh, ruining the board. So it's best to add some type of uh, alligator clips uh, that can uh, handle the amount of uh, amperage or current or whatever you want to call it. Um, and it makes it easier for you to uh, test, test your drivers out and uh, not ruin your boards. Um, what else? I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, definitely uh, definitely gets hot at 2 amps uh, but it's definitely pulling it away from the, the diodes and the resistor uh, really really good um, haven't had any issues with it uh, I've ran it quite a few times at uh, at this uh, at this range and uh, it's working great very happy with this test load. I'm glad I got it. Make things a lot easier. Shut it down. Yeah, it's definitely hot. Um, for sure, if it's if you if you plan on running anything over two amps on this, definitely put a heat sink on it. But anything under two amps, uh, you'll uh, be fine. So this is uh, definitely a great test load, well designed.
those are the ranges down here yeah pull the test load up a little bit those are your ranges you have four ranges Here's the one ohm resistor and the five diodes. Okay. Definitely happy with this. Thank you.